Thank you to War Thunder for sponsoring this video. You know, I wasn't expecting to do a third installment playing one of these games without ever leaving the road, but here we are. In fact, the only reason this one even happened is because I had another sequel video planned that, um, well... No, 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 no. However, I'm really glad I jumped into this one because Fallout 4, while region locked to just its highways and roads, has ended up becoming one of the most fun experiences I've ever had recording for the channel, just from a pure gameplay perspective. As always on my channel, it's much more experiment than it is challenge. What all can we get done? What weird experiences may we have? What unique solutions can we find to the problems this new rule set may impose upon us? Looks like we lost him. Easy. Ah, God, I, I wasn't expecting. No way, are you fuck? All right, shut up yet. Yeah, so, so maybe it was a little bit of a challenge at times for me, but it won't be for you because my newest friend here, Gump, alongside his dog, Dog, are here to teach you all about survival and growth while permanently stuck within the capillaries of content delivery that spread themselves throughout the entire map of the Commonwealth. So if you're looking to go on a post-apocalyptic road trip anytime soon, grab a pencil and paper, pay attention, and take good notes because the survival tips I'll be giving you are gonna be factual, non-negotiable, and the only advice you will ever need to play Fallout 4 without leaving the road. Why don't they have a little baby-sized tube? Right? Shouldn't Sean just have his own little baby-sized tube? It'd be adorable. From this point forward, we are roadlocked. Right? Now. Can I talk to Codsworth? Hey, <laughs> it's me, buddy. Can you, do you remember me? So you've just stepped foot onto your new home. Sweet, glorious pavement. Two things I should have mentioned before. Yes, all these tips assume you're playing on survival mode, but for this run, I'm going to enable fast travel both to cut down on some really boring backtracking and because it kind of self balances in survival mode a bit by moving time forward, thus increasing the need for sleep, food, water, you know the deal. As for what counts as a road, first off, no, railroads do not count. They are tracks, not roads. This is factual and non-negotiable. You may, however, feel free to leave any in-depth analysis on why I'm wrong here in the comment section below this video, but I do not care. Second, if you're on the fence about whether or not something counts as a road, use the map as a tiebreaker or just your best judgment. Come on. Um, wait, hold, no, 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 I don't wanna risk things. I, I mean, this is questionable. Like, can you reasonably draw from the road to the parking lot here? Or maybe there's a way I can jump it. They have to get gas. You're right, cars would have to reasonably be able to drive up here and access the gas pumps. So this does count as road. You wanna come with me, pal? Boom, there we go. Just a few minutes into your journey and you've already got a travel buddy. Now you might be thinking, oh no, I'm locked to the road. I can't possibly get any loot, can I? This question is exactly why I love these challenges. They force you to use game mechanics that if you told me you used in every playthrough, I'd just assume you're a liar. Okay, but I can't go, oh wait, maybe I can command the dog to grab things for me. Grab that. Yeah, grab that food. Grab that cram off the shelf. Good boy. Grab the rat poison, but don't eat it. Get that. Okay, rob the cash register. Grab anything useful. Get in there. Go get me my cash. Dog's on the way. Oh, he did. He got cash. <laughs> no, that's awesome. Come here, buddy. I love this dog. 17 bucks. anything useful yeah check out that dead body for me i can't reach it oh fuck yeah i love this dog get him yeah go get him go get him i don't want to put myself in any danger i'm gonna let the dog do all of it oh i'm out of ammo come on munch her to death munch you're even even better armor hey up here on the balcony grab that laser musket and help us please i'll definitely grab that laser musket since it's in the zone, but I'm not helping you. With Dog joining your crew, effectively letting you work remotely for your loot, you can now shift your focus towards finding a home for yourself. When I lived in Iowa, we had the world's largest truck stop, so if I did this challenge in real life, I guess that's probably the first place I would look for. But this is Fallout 4, and the closest thing we have to a settlement on the road is Hangman's Alley. So try to make your way down there as early as possible. I could probably shoot them and then let Trudy and Patrick take care of it. 
I'm doing this from the safest distance I can. Wait, dog, get back up there. What the fuck are you doing, dog? Make yourself useful. Wait, Trudy. No, 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 Trudy. Tr oh my gosh, Trudy. Wait, please come back out here. No, wait, no, this isn't how it's supposed to go. Trudy, oh. Uh, well, well, well. Parking lot with road directly into it. This is valid. Don't come any closer, friend. This doesn't concern. It's on the road, therefore it is my concern. They're going to kill me. Shut up. I'm not dying and losing all this progress. Sorry, dude. You're on your own. I'm not getting involved. Please, don't go. That's enough. Oh, he was a synth. Nice work, Fred. And Angie. I guess you helped too. <laughs> I guess Angie was there. See if he had anything worth taking. Yeah, check the ash pile. Maybe there's a water in there. Come on, a little bit of urgency here, pup. Dad is dying. Not a toy rocket. That doesn't help me. Fine, I'll take it. I appreciate your enthusiasm. Hey. Whoa, 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 whoa. hey. Ah. Uh. Fucking reload. Okay, good save. That was scary. Ah, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Man, I was so convinced this place would be on the road. I can't do that. I can't cheat the rules this way. Grab that. Yeah, go get the landmine for me. Huh? It worked? <laughs> what? No way. New power unlocked. Tactical dog. Pick that up. Grab that. Come on, forget about the incoming fire. Grab that landmine for... <laughs> Grab it for dad. Go get it. Go get it. Don't worry about the turret. Dude, you're getting on my nerves. Grab the fucking landmine. What's the big deal? I'm not afraid of them. Do you see me cowering away from the battle? Bring it here, boy. Gotta be raiders around here. Wouldn't you think? It's set up that way. I'm slowly as possible. They are all around me. Hey. No, 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 not hey. Shit, he's on the other side of this van. <gasps> no way, he's behind me? Oh, shit. No fucking way. <laughs> no way. Okay, all right, no more screwing around. Ow, ow. Ow! Preston, please, I beg you, suck less. Oh my God, Preston, I've never seen that happen before. In a million, a million times I've been here, never once have I seen Preston jump down to the ground and engage troops personally. What the fuck? What is going on? What? Look, he's looting dead bodies? What are you doing? Shoot them, Preston, for fuck's sake, do something. Quick, before he runs inside. No, 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 get back here. I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna miss it. I blew it. My one opportunity for greatness. Good thing you died close to the road, buddy. Yes. Oh, thank Christ. Ma'am, I can't thank you enough. I'm out of ammo. Come on, that would have been hilarious. This is what you get for ruining a good joke. Get off my cooking station and give me the bed. Now's probably a good time to mention that, yeah, I can fast travel, but I still need to sleep to save. I have some integrity. This little parking lot near Concord is our first random encounter hotspot. It didn't have a bed the first time, hence why I lost all of my progress, so it's a bit of a dice roll on your first attempt. But keep this spot in mind. It's a good first pit stop and pretty consistent at handing over someone that needs to be murdered. From here, you should be able to make your way into Boston easily. Just follow this little road here around the edge. You might run into a dog or two, but nothing serious. Cross the bridge, and before you know it, road, road. Yes, this is it. This is our moment, dog meat. You and me, buddy. Shoot. Yo, we gotta, we gotta get some distance. Why is the, what uh, is the entire apocalypse doing on the street? Walk away, boys. Walk, just saunter on down the road. Gotta hit these shots perfectly. Six more rounds. Five. Four. If he's right around this corner with a shotgun or something, I'm gonna lose my mind. 
Ah! We got him. A near-death experience. Your dog got shot, a jump scare, but look on the bright side. Now you get to call the alleyway between two apartment buildings your home. <laughs> Now this next part of your journey is the most difficult and grindy section, but super rewarding and- Oh. Well, uh... Listen, why don't we all just suspend our disbelief for a bit? Because for starters, if we use the map as a tiebreaker, I still win here. And when given the choice of fun over function, I go with fun. Also, it's my channel and I can do whatever the fuck I want. Now, where, uh, where were we? Ah, right, uh, so you made it to Hangman's Alley. There's not a lot here when you first land, but enough to build a bed to save with, and most importantly, oh my god, they even have a basketball hoop here! So you wanna be a baller, huh? Drive to the lane, don't keep a scorer, huh? huh? So you wanna be a baller, yeah? Mm -hmm. Shoot the jumper, now you hit a three-pointer, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Said you wanna take home, uh, huh? Like his own defense, destroying, yeah, huh? Said so you home. wanna be a shot caller, what else can I hold? Yeah. Yeah. Set your game up if you wanna be a baller. Boom! Boom! We got one! I want to talk progression and next steps with you all, but I can't before thanking the sponsor of today's video, War Thunder. War Thunder is the most comprehensive vehicle combat game ever made, and I'm in it apparently. Play over 2,000 tanks, planes, helicopters, and ships spanning over 100 years of technological development from the 1920s to present day. Gary Charlie. Every vehicle is incredibly detailed and modeled down to their individual components, much like Gary Charlie's chiseled jawline. What do I like personally about War Thunder? Well, I'm biased, so Gary Charlie, but I love dogfighting. It's real satisfying just da -da 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 -da, and then following that up by flying my plane into Gary Charlie. No extra pilot hardware necessary. War Thunder is playable on keyboard and mouse thanks to the game's mouse aim mode, which I did try and yeah feels pretty good. You can play War Thunder for free now using my link on PC to receive a large free bonus pack including multiple premium vehicles and account boosters, but you can also play on Xbox Series consoles, PlayStation 5, and even previous generation consoles. So no matter what you play on, you can easily find my doppelganger in-game. Now that you've ended up downtown, or as I'll refer to this area, Boston, Maine, feel free to bop around. There's a ton of road to explore here. Really, we're doing this again? I am, how am I supposed to get my dog out of that? Maybe he just took care of all the other... Oh yeah, it looks like he just killed his whole team. Way to go, dog mate, I'm so proud of you. However, if you followed this tutorial closely, I don't know why you would try anything other than my science-based approach, you're likely underleveled for most encounters in this area. Oh god, oh god, too close, too close. Don't blow it. I learned everything I know from Fallout Frost. It trained me for this moment. Yeah, I'm a gamer. I am actually going to... Common neighbors W. <laughs> why? Why? I don't, why is this so difficult? Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh, dog mate, you actually saved me there, finally. Time to die! Uh-oh. Why am I... Why am I such an idiot? Just kill me. Oh my god, I'm so fucking dumb. I... There's still three of them. <laughs> they don't stop. How many more annoying neighbors are there? You get rid of one, another one spawns in their place. Clearly, you need a bit more practice before spending most of your time here in Boston, Maine, so let me break down the different sections of the map as I see them. First, up top, you've got the Cupcake Wilderness. That's where you'll find that first encounter hotspot I mentioned earlier. Dad, huh? can we leave a light on tonight? I like sleeping with the light on. Sure thing, baby. I'll watch over you, White. Hi, mister. Hey, how you, how you doing, Charlie? This is a bit awkward. I thought your dad was a synth. Just don't turn around. <laughs> just, just, oh gosh, she sees it. 
No, no, now she's looking at it. The roads aren't super active up here, but you may see a raider or two. More importantly for this run, it's a given that you'll eventually run into trash can Carla, which is a good segue into talking about your first big problem. Limited traders. You've got Carla in the Cupcake Wilderness, Cricket roaming around Boston North, and maybe you'll run into Lucas Miller towards the eastern portion of the Cupcake Wilderness. Traders are in limited supply, so you need to make the most of every visit when you can, which is why you're going to spec into Charisma. I started at level 8, it's very important to be charismatic while on a road trip because all of your buddies who totally picked up a chick while driving on the highway are definitely not lying. It pays to have a silver tongue on the road. Say 125, Cap. Mm, that's not gonna do it for me, Trudy. The job's already done, I want more. I'm not playing this game, Scatter. 100 caps or nothing. Until you can set up your own trader at home, which requires you to grind until level 14, you'll either be chasing down one of these three traders or stashing anything you find at home like a savage loot goblin. And before you ask, no. I'm not taking the idiot savant perk. It's been a crutch for me in almost every Fallout 4 region lock, and I just cannot stand it. I can't stand the sound it makes, it's overpowered, and it just takes the fun out of slowly becoming an all-powerful road warrior. Aside from the Cupcake Wilderness, you have Lexington, Boston North, and then this little strip of road right next to your home base. Encounter hotspot number two, and you're gonna learn why shortly. Focus on these areas, take as much loot as you possibly can, and remember to treat your dog nicely because this is where the grind really begins. Not another step. We'll let you through for 500 caps. Get here. What the fuck, man? I was backing away. Nice. Keep getting him, dog meat. Yo, get him. Nice. Bottle caps, drugs, more food. Lots of drugs. Really loud motorcycle outside. Okay, this little road is a random encounter hotspot. Check that body, pal. What is that? Armor? Get out of the way. Let me pick it up. Okay, recruitment radio beacon. Bam! We have power. We have recruitment. I kind of want to buy. I'm going to buy the dog. You've got a deal. And we have our dog. All right, well, how fertile is this rubble? Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> it works. Yeah, we're just going to grow corn right out of the road. Good to know that we can just build uh, corn and grains right into the highway if the apocalypse ever happens. No way. Oh, now I got to plant all my food again. I don't like this. I don't want to plant this food. It's taking up the basketball court. How am I supposed to shoot hoops now? I don't know why Lexington wasn't one of the first places I tried to go through. I've just avoided it the entire time. Time out. I think this is valid road. Oh my God, an actual loading screen. Nice, level up. Still alive. I'm gonna take animal friend. Oh no, oh, there's a nuke right there. <laughs> I'm going. Fuck, fuck, I'm still alive. Zap. Target down. Give me the XP. Target right there. Zap. There we go. Nope. Need more distance. Who's got eyes on me? They do. Ooh, thread the needle. Oh my God, did he kill himself? <laughs> I think he might have taken himself out. All right, I told you, I'm, I'm, I'm as efficient as it gets. The thing about surviving, it, look, I mean, that was my dog. That was close. Ooh. Thank you, door. Okay, fuck you, door. Dog me, you all right over there? You can handle one or two more nukes, right, little dude? Nothing like injecting my own dog with morphine. Oh, thank God this guy sucks. Yeah, we're good on food production, actually. I, I need you to... Okay. Yeah, just get in there. Oh, that's just... 
No, I just need more of it as much as I can get. Stuff it all onto my bag all at one time. This is a whole neighborhood of scavengers. You got a guy over here on the porch. He's like, hey, neighbor, how's it going? Got to talk to you, Bill. You find anything good today? I heard there's a psychopath running around with a rifle. What the? Hell? Got him. Nice. Level up. I got to stop saying that every time I get a kill that I think is nice. But it's all I, it's what my brain is programmed to say. I'm going to go sneak. Oh, my God. Again. Every time we come back to this street, I don't even know if I slept. I let like an hour go by. What a shot. What an absolute shot. <laughs> I am God of the road. I own the pavement. Let's see. She's got long orange hair, orangish reddish hair. She's got a maroon t-shirt on with jeans and boots. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Quick, reddish orange hair with that shirt and, and jeans, plus she's wearing boots. Get back to work. It's a mouthful. I think it's Scandinavian. Nothing this time. Maybe not enough time passed. But wait a minute, no. These are brand new dead scavengers. Hey, see if he had anything worth taking. Yeah, go shred the extra meat off of him. Is it kind of fucked up having my dog? Oh my god. <laughs> Is this cannibalism? It's dog cannibalism. It took a few trips between Lexington, Camp, and Chaos Boulevard, but eventually I saved up enough for a slight upgrade from Cricket, who luckily was wandering around the neighborhood. I found some nice drug dealers on a bridge and gave myself a mental note to explore more of Boston North during my second day of this challenge. Once I started to get into a good rhythm of consistent upgrades and XP, I was itching to jump back in and play more. There's something really fun about being cornered by super mutants, not being able to use the store on the corner for cover, only being able to use an exploding car for cover, or trying to find another road to use as a flanking route. Here we go, that car is going to blow up. Probably if you're that angry at him, go get him. It makes combat this weird chess game in a way where you have limited moves, but you have some freedom. I love it. And it's not a fun crusher, but there is still that risk of losing whatever progress I've made since my last save. The metagame of managing my survival needs does provide nice balance since I don't necessarily want to leave camp, only kill one enemy, then go right back to camp. I want to clear off entire roads and bandit camps in one go so I can make the most of each trip. This is when I realized two things. One. This is really fun, and it's hitting all the right buttons for me. Like, I'm sitting here right now recording this, and I cannot wait to go back and start playing this again. And the second thing, there are a lot of roads. There is a lot of game here, and if I want to see most of it, this is going to take a really long time. Oh yeah, someone's here. There we go, like clockwork. What is up with this street? Target down. Hope you ain't one of them synths here to spy on you. You're really in no position to be accusing anybody of being a synth. <laughs> what does she even do it from that angle? Uh, you best not be one of them synths. Alright? Swear to god, if you're a that's the that should be the last thing on your list of worries. Not even a day later. Another shootout. It's always scavengers. Versus a robot. Okay, that's new. A little twist to the equation. Did that Mr. Gutsy murder everyone? I think he cleared out the entire encounter. Let's just play this safe. I don't think I can kill a Mr. Gutsy. Easy. Ah, God, I, I wasn't expecting him to attack. What? We were cool. Everything was fine. What am I going to do about the Institute? I have no, I don't even care about the Institute. The only thing I care about is pavement. Honey, the scavenger kids are back again. No, dog, stop chasing him. But I got to command him. Hey, over here. Head over there. Nice. Very tactical. Maybe I should put her... Probably should put her on farming since we're not recruiting anybody right now. But I'll leave it. <laughs> I don't know. I need to come back and feel like I'm in control of the situation. I can't do that if they're both working. Plenty of explosives. Sniper rifle, finally. Now we're on easy mode. Except I suck. Take a slight left for you, right onto the street. Thank you. Deposit your contents on the... What are you doing? Oh, my God. I've never seen this. It's an elite super mutant strategy. They really are evolving. I thought I heard Craig. Oh, my God. She's still out here arguing. Piper, just go in. 
Not exactly what I'm looking for, but I like the effort, kid. Let's just try and talk everyone down here. I'm going to risk my progress on one speech check. Assuming there's a speech check. Okay, no, no, okay, there's no speech check. It's just a shootout. Oh, God, fuck, fuck, fuck. I wanted to be peaceful there. You saved our lives. I... Thank you. Thank you. I wouldn't worry about him too much. It was a mercy killing. He was already ugly. <laughs> I kind of want to take a tag dog. I'm going to take it. Oh, another right on this road every single time without fail. Don't move. Stay right there in position and action. Get back to work, reddish orange hair with a t-shirt and jeans, plus you're wearing boots. No, but for real, who's watching the corn? Who's watching the prisoner we have back at home? <laughs> She's all alone. remember the last time I had clean fingernails. Can't remember the last time you had clean fingernails? I can't remember the last time you had freedom. This has got to land. Come on. Throw on my life. No. Sorry. Sorry. I'm sorry. OK, that was shit, shit, shit. How is that not hit? How? I swear I hit the bomb like five times. Oh no, we did enough of this last video. Do we have to do this challenge again, hip fire? <gasps> that, 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 that one hit. That one actually should have just hit. We're almost level 10. Uh, we got Monsignor Plaza as a fast travel. So let's lock in our progress, drop off our loot. Sorry, buddy, let me just hit you with this medical suppository real quick. And we're good to go. Cannibalize your brother. See if he had anything worth taking. No, you're not allowed to say no to this, okay? You want to be a part of the team, you got to commit. <laughs> you got to commit, dog. I'm going all in on attack, dog. I don't care what anyone says. We got nukes popping off. Who are you? Settler? What's up? You can't just approach me and pretend you're going to say something and say nothing. Also, someone's trying to kill you. I, oh. I can't see. No. <laughs> Just because you're not looking at the enemy. Turn around. Ma'am, he is behind you. Dog me, take cover behind this lady. Can I thread the needle here and hit this shot? <laughs> Wait, no, no. Uh, okay, wrong. No, go a little bit lower. Oh, I don't have ammo. Fuck. Don't move, ma'am. I promise this is going to be all okay. Your target seems to be stuck in some kind of animation loop. Oh my god, this gun's out of ammo too. Fuck. Who's on my lawn? Again. Again. How many? Oh my god, we're actually being invaded. Ah. Ah. I haven't saved yet. Everybody, defensive positions. Dog me. Start biting at their cankles. You mess with one of us, you mess with all of us. That's what I'm talking about. No, actually, you're not allowed to get out of that. Go back to your prison. Go, go, go back to your prison. We don't need you. Get in. Now, get in there. Get in there. We appreciate your help defending the settlement. Now, go back to jail. <laughs> Oh, that's Cricket. Sorry, Cricket. Wait, come back. No way, Cricket. I need you. Okay, Cricket, come here. Let me make love to you financially. Completely unbothered. Random stranger right next to her. See how I defended you, Cricket? Wasn't that hot? I am not familiar with this section of the map at all. I feel like this section gets pretty overlooked. This part was grindy, yes, and I still have no clue what the end of this journey looks like, but I don't particularly care about that. It's about the journey, not the destination. Yeah, I know, but that's corny and not really true in terms of trying to tell a compelling while also ridiculous tale. Yeah, spoiler alert, YouTube is hard. In this early phase, I kept saying, okay, there's no way the sandbox of this game decides to get more chaotic. There's no chance anything happens other than me just plugging away, watching numbers get bigger. I'll come up with some kind of goal, like making a pasta factory, I'll get to that later, and we'll happily wrap things up with a nice little bow tie and post a video. But as I kept going, the sandbox did get more chaotic. The shootouts got more fun, and while I hope I've been able to give you a good idea of what this plays like and how fun it can be, it takes on a whole new life after a certain point. I'm so bad. I hate the Molotovs. I hate them. I hate them. I hate them. Who are you? Oh, oh, God, I thought you were friendly. 
I thought it was a traitor or something. <laughs> I'm sorry, dog meat. I hate leaving him behind. <laughs> no. Okay, they're pushing. Uh, they're closing in and I have no cover. They started fighting the raiders. Well, that made my job easy. I just wander on in, hit one of these. I just want to trade a few things. Sure. Don't you dare kick my dog. I'm not going down without a fight. Ah, shit. <laughs> Why are they so good? Can we get spray and pray? Whoa, 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 I just woke up. What kind of alarm clock is this? I just got out of bed. It's far too early to be doing this this early in the morning. Could you guys at least wait until a decent hour to do your raid? 17 shots left. Come on, come on, car, come on, car, come on, I need you. All you have to do is just gaslight the dogs and then they'll eventually relax and be on your team. Calm down, you're acting crazy. Good dog. Shit, it didn't work. Normally it works. Fight for me. Attack! Yeah, get him. Uh, which one's on my side? I, I lost track. Idiot dog. Oh no, oh no, oh no, no, go, 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 go. How am I? Like, again, there's another one! And there's a fourth one right here on the ground, but I'm gonna grab it and everything's okay. Calm down. Dig through the trash, dog. Ooh, trash dog found drugs. Take anything good. Probably a uh, crispy squirrel bits or iguana on a, oh my God, or a giant watermelon. <laughs> the captain requests your presence on the bridge. Not the double quick, sir. See, unfortunately, we can't get up there. We can start the quest. That's about as far as we can take this one. This is what we call road hunting. How the f are you alive? <laughs> Stop right there. Such, no, no, and I can't pacify him. He's defiant. He's got udders made of titanium. Nope, 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 nope. What? 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 Dog me, get off the truck and come down here. Help me. Hold on to him. Hold on to him. Finally, we got it. Nice. Finally. 12 and a half hours. That is much longer than I thought it would take to get to this point, but we're here. We did it. Level 14. Okay. If there's anything I love more than an epic tune with red lines squiggling around on a map to summarize a time skip or progress made during a challenge. Actually, I, I don't think there's anything I like more than this, to, to be honest. I, I love doing that, but yeah. Anyway, we're jumping forward a bit here to when you actually have the ability to build a trading stand. She's been a loyal soldier, okay? She spent a long time in the pillory. It's been like four weeks. We can give her a job now. Now you might think that a weapons vendor makes more sense than a trading post since ammo is hard to come by without leaving the road. Yeah, uh, this is a... I should have done a weapons vendor. You'd be right. I'm an idiot. The main benefit of this obviously gives you a place to dump full inventories of raiders and robots instead of crossing your fingers and just hoping you run into one of the traders. Not to mention the much needed boost to your ammo, which you'll never lose the need for. And it makes your life easy as you continue trying to take over the streets of Boston. So what now? All right, you got a trader set up. So what? You've touched what? Maybe 25% of the roads so far on this map? Come on, that's nothing. You're nothing. You think you're running the world's largest truck stop? You're a convenience store at best. But what if you were the single largest producer of mac and cheese in the city of Boston? Now that there, that's a noble goal. Well, what if we could kill three birds with one stone here? Remember how I said earlier that the sandbox just got crazier and crazier as I played this? Well, you won't be able to build a roadside mac and cheese manufacturer on your own. Get out of here, dog. No, you're no help. I know of a special secret way you can get an extra set of hands to help you out in your noble business goals. Not leave the road, increase the sandbox chaos of the world, and it all makes for a wonderful little excuse to cover automatron content on the channel for the first time ever. Which, which robots are on my side? Oh, I'm so screwed. Hold on, maybe not. Great throw, awesome. Ada, we have a problem. Yes, walk towards me. Yes, saunter towards your new owner. 
fine. I'll close the gap. My friends did not survive the attack. Maybe I should have some empathy. All right, let's get through this. Take her along with. There's another. There's more right behind me. Are they going to kill me mid conversation? Look, they're scanning. Scanning for innocent. Stuck in conversation dialogue. Engage. OK, we are actually getting shot at mid conversation. We need to get money. We need to get some ammo. And where better to go to find some money and ammo than right around the corner at Chaos Boulevard? Oh, it's a whole ordeal going down. Get into position. I'll get it done. Could you could you speed it up just a little bit. Is there anything better than this? Right on, brother. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. This, this is peak survival. The only one who looks like he's enjoying himself is this guy. Like, that's a genuine smile on his face. Look at that. Look at that guy. He's just happy to be making this disgusting perpetual stew. Sure, I murdered three people, but now I have five servings of ramen noodles. Fall back, Ada. Get back on the road. You certainly know your way around a workbench. Whoa! <laughs> Woo. Engage the enemy. I should not have charged. <laughs> that was such a stupid idea. Don't do it, Ada. Don't do it. All right, that's okay. It's only the dog. God damn it. <laughs> God, stop moving around. I actually have cover from this angle. Get your ass up, Ada. Load up on some 45 rounds. Noodle cup, noodle cup, noodle cup. Mac and cheese. Cram. Fancy lights, Insta mash, pork and beans. Oh, we have to change our entire business model. Yeah, don't ever let me try and convince you I go into these challenges with a clear cut goal. I just wing it most of the time. Mac and cheese it is. I mean, mac and cheese is pretty close to noodles, right? We might be onto something here. If we can combine our razor grain farm, maybe we cut our razor grain production in half, we supplement it with carrot production, we upgrade our water production, all we have to then do is buy and supply the bulk plastic to our economy, and we can start a massive Blamco brand mac and cheese factory. Grab anything useful. No problem. Ugh, my dog would have been so much quicker. Go, I don't want to talk to you. I want you to go grab me things. See if she had anything. Certainly. Well, no, she does it if all of their clothes disappear. See if there's anything there. I'll take care of it. Will you? Oh, and she's right there, Ada. Take anything good. I'll take care of it. No, you won't. You you haven't even started taking care of it. <gasps> oh, oh, yeah, Ada. I knew I could believe in you. I never lost faith once. I believed in her the whole time. Now, OK, well, I mean, maybe take the stairs next time. <laughs> You're going to break your legs. Pick that up. Sorry. What do you mean you can't do that? Take that. That's not going to happen. Why? See if he had anything worth taking. Can't be done. That's bullshit. Okay, so now all of a sudden, all of a sudden we kill one cow and you just spring morals up out of nowhere? You listen to my orders. Check it out. No. I want my dog back. You know, dog meat would have done it. Would you happen to know the way to Bunker Hill? I don't, but give me your caps anyway. You must need them more than... Good talk. Oh, this is great. It's like we're pushing the payload. <laughs> we're playing Overwatch now. Super mutants came through a few days ago. Only a few of them, but they did a lot of damage before we managed to drive them off. They're here. Open fire, everybody. We must defend the macaroni and cheese production. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. No, no. Uh, via the butterfly effect, I'm sorry, Kraft macaroni and cheese never existed. Ah, shit. Quick, if we don't eliminate the super mutants, they're gonna force us to only make spirals mac and cheese. I can't believe it. We won. We couldn't have done it without your help. You all have jobs because of me. This isn't dumb, by the way. Killing Swan right now will directly have positive results on mac and cheese production. Opening fire! <laughs> Holy crap, he's... Uh, Ada... You might want to move. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm going to use every single round I have. OK, behind the car. Don't worry. I'm not going to try anything. Oh, sure. That's what they all say before pulling it. Heads up. I said heads up.
go check that body. A carrot. Okay, we got a carrot. Our first naturally produced carrot. I'm so happy to be a member of this society. Every morning there's a halo hanging from the corner of my girlfriend's four-post bed. I know it's not mine, but I'll see if I can use it for the weekend or a one-night stand. Hold on, Ada. I'm in trouble here. Sugar Ray, save me. Ha! Huh! They're scabbers as well, so they're not total slouches. Grenade! I've never lost anyone before. Look at the feet on that f***er. <laughs> Look at the foot model on the feral ghoul. That is gnarly. Carrot production expands. Okay, okay, maybe not. Maybe uh, we just, oh. There's no way they just killed the sentry bot. <gasps> Don't worry, this private property sign will defend me. Uh, save me, private property. Oh, God, no. Quick scope. I uh, missed. You have 13 rounds left. That's more than enough. All I need. Don't think they're here this time. They spawned twice in a row, though. First time in good neighbor. Oh, this stinks. Seeing so much civilization just out of reach from me, we could get a group to do in Skyrim roleplay. I still are not Skyrim Mopey, but hold on, time out. What the fuck? What's going on? What are the children of Adam doing on this road now? <laughs> what the fuck? They've never been here before, but holy Jesus, look at that loot. Oh yeah, it's the same thing, but it sets them on fire. Holy crap, run. Oh my God, stop. I, I, I'm not ready for this attack. We've actually been invaded by aliens. Ada should be pretty immune to radiation. Okay, but I'm not, I'm not. Yeah, they really heard about Chaos Boulevard and said, you know what, let's let's step it up. Everyone else who's attacked this place is an amateur, but we aren't. All right, you little. But if we're going to start this mac and cheese empire, I'm not doing it without my best boy that I started this entire journey with. Right here. Count it. Nice, she has right away. That is so hot. Wait a minute, where the hell am I? I wasn't expecting to run through an entire town. This is kind of cool, though. <laughs> Malden Middle School. Not dehydrated anymore. I'm drinking sewer water. Oh, uh, you gotta be kidding me. Sentry bot. Hey, head over there. Go there. We cannot fight a sentry bot right now. Need Come on, Ada, hurry up, please. Oh, I can't even do anything to this. We need the synths to engage with it. They're in this little bank right here. I'm going to have to get Ada out of here. Least you could have done was fight back, Ada. Oh, no. Okay, now we have super mutants versus this robot versus sentry bot. I'll try and help the super mutants as best I can. Did I do it? No, we still got more Rust Devils. Legendary, what the fuck is going on? This is awesome. Automatron DLC, underrated. Gotta keep falling back. No, 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 really? I get hit one time? Infection's still spreading. St you stupid ass infection, would you lay off? I'm over here using wheat. This is how I heal. Nice. Hey. On him, there. Get his ass. That guy. Come on, hold him down. Ooh, no, no. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. There's no way. I'm going to cry. I'm so mad. That was an awesome fight. I know someone out there is wondering how I have both Dog and Ada following me. Mods. Cheats. It's a carryover from the last video I did on Fallout 4. I didn't really even realize it at first, but it's fun, and keeping these two alive is like a high-octane babysitting adventure. I certainly plan on having them around for the back half of this journey, because I cannot stress enough how much fun I had with this one. I spent well over 20 hours in total streaming this, maybe touched 40% of the roads in the game, looted hundreds of raiders, traded thousands worth in caps just to keep my ammo up, and I really only ever got bored once or twice during that initial phase. I don't normally talk about the process of putting together these videos, 
videos, but this one was really hard to give a sense of being on the road during combat and the limitation it imposes. I would misstep and touch a sidewalk every now and then, but for the most part I played by the book and kept myself pigeonholed during combat encounters. It's not really easy when things are flying fast paced for me to stop the video and say, look, see how I deftly forced my way forward, stayed on the road, avoided enemies on both sides, look at how good I am at playing video games. Anyway. You bet your ass, after 18 and a half hours, I got my mac and cheese production. What? Get off the computer! Dude, get out of the machine! What are you doing? <laughs> he just wants to be a part of it. He's He's been away from the team for a while, so he's really happy to be here. Okay, junkyard, junk, don't, don't, your tail, you knocked it over! What the fuck, man? Yeah, whatever, the mac and cheese is kind of underwhelming now, but imagine how much mac and cheese I can make with a second part. I'll see you on the next one, friends, but before I go, I gotta say thank you again to War Thunder for sponsoring today's video. I did play this game, I did enjoy it, and War Thunder was super cool with me making fun of Gary Charlie and the odd resemblance that if you're interested in the game and would like to support the channel in more ways than just by watching, it'd help out the channel a lot if you use my link down below, get your bonus stuff in game, yada yada yada, and we all have a wonderful day. Ooh, also, Gary Charlie, he's on the map Sun City, if you're curious. Okay, now I'm done talking. Oh,